Thanks for joining us for this Noria unboxing. We're excited to share this technology with you. We got a sneak peek at a beta version that looks a little different, but functions just the same as the final version of the product that has recently hit the market. The SKF Recondoil box delivers SKF's patented proprietary double separation technology, or DST, in a small footprint that fits a variety of applications and needs. The Recondoil box is designed to help more plants and worksites build circular economies into their lubrication programs. Let's jump into the unboxing of this beta version of the product and find out how it works. Hello everybody, Nori here for another exciting unboxing video. My name is Bennett Fitch, this is Nick Holder, and here we're going to be unboxing a product by SKF Recondoil. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about who they are. Sure. Uh, I think we're all familiar with SKF, but mm -hmm. SKF Recondoil uh, is really their way of bringing a new technology to the industrial oil market. Uh, mm -hmm. And that technology is called double separation technology. And okay. I think we've seen that. Yeah, but this is something special because I've seen some larger size of this, but you know, what, what do we call this here? Sure, so this is the Recondoil box. Okay. Uh, so this is really taking that DST, that, that double separation technology, shrinking it down to a much more uh, small footprint that mm -hmm. can be used in a variety of different applications. Okay, so we start, before we start diving into how this product works, you know, it's important to know at least that it's focusing on the really small particles. You know, yes. Those it's not nanoparticles, less than a micron, maybe 0.1 micron. Sometimes they're called ghost riders. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's really important to focus on those because while they're the more difficult particles to capture, it can often cause the most damage and definitely impact the life of the oil and the life of the machine. Definitely. Um, and so, that's the thing that SKF is really trying to help customers deal with, right? Is extending the life of that oil by treating it more as an asset than mm -hmm. a consumable product. Yeah, and overall you're going to be reducing the, the cost of ownership, you know, by, yes. by using this, the life of the oil is extended, the machine life is extended, and the way that's happening, you know, it, it, I'm assuming it's focusing on minimizing the potential for varnish formation and mm -hmm. sludge formation, all those things that are associated with small particles, even air bubbles and water getting into the oil, those tend to kind of stick around longer the, the more small particles that you have. Definitely. And those small particles you can't address with a conventional filter, yeah. so you need something that is able to address those particles that are nano size, like you're saying that yeah. some people call ghost riders because they just get past a conventional filter over and over again. They stay in the oil, they keep circulating, keep doing damage yeah. uh, and causing all those varnish and other problems like you were talking about. That's um, great. So that's why this system is a little different and that's why we're so excited about it, uh, is that it's DST activated. So. It is a, a filtration system, kind of like you may have seen before, uh, but these filters are DST activated with a chemical booster that okay. separates out some of those, those nanoparticles, makes them easier to then remove with a conventional filter. Okay, like so this. we have this DST, that's a double separation technology. Yep. Um, and we have this chemical booster in there that's helping. So it's more than just a conventional filter, there's a exactly. lot more going on. Yes. Uh, so are you able to tell us a little bit more about how everything is set up here? Sure. So we've got the overall unit here that is a, an offline filtration okay. system. Um, so, you know, something we're fairly familiar with. But we've got two filter housings and each one of those contains a DST activated filter. And we'll talk a little bit more about DST in a minute. Uh, and here you've got the pump and motor and the digital controller. Okay, so what kind of information might we see on the screen here? So on that screen you're going to see things like flow, uh, process volume, um, even custom sensor info. So you okay. can work with SKF Recond Oil to set up, you know, any, anything you want to connect to, a yeah. perhaps a PLC or something okay. like that, uh, this system can connect to. So I noticed that the two filters are set up here in parallel, which is nice because that means you can probably extend this out for exactly. increased flow capacity or larger volume. So this is very scalable to any kind of machine you might need it on. Yes, and that's, that's the beauty of it is this specific version you're seeing here it can be for one application and then yeah if you need to increase that flow capacity increase that volume uh, and, we can add more in parallel and each one of those has that dst activated technology maybe you can tell us right now a little bit more about what that means yeah let's get into what is dst exactly okay. so like i've said double separation technology is, is what that stands for and what it is really is a chemical booster that's separating out those okay. nanoparticles, those ghost writers, mm -hmm. all those things that lead to the problems we were just talking about um, and allows you to remove them through a conventional filter. So these filters are DST activated mm -hmm. so that the chemical booster can help pull out and pull together some of those tiny particles mm -hmm. and allow you to filter them out, get them out of the oil, return it to a highly clean state. That's, that's very interesting. There's a combination of technologies, not just filtration, but some 
chemistry involved as well. It seems pretty complete. You know, one thing with filtration I know is you know, understanding what the dirt holding capacity is. Yes. And what's that for this? Yes, so for this unit, the dirt holding capacity is two, three kilograms with okay. a moisture or water holding capacity of five kilograms. That's great. So those are the more conventional elements of the recon oil box. But ultimately, the game changing aspects are the, the DST, the mm -hmm. chemical separation like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, how that lowers total cost of ownership and allows you to treat a lubricant as an asset and not just a consumable yeah. product. So can you talk a little bit about why that's yeah, important? Yeah, I mean, for sure. You said it really well in, in suggesting that, you know, contamination is known in the industry as the number one reason why machines fail. Right. And of course, the larger particles are a part of that, but the small particles often get forgotten. Hmm. Um, and with hydraulics, you know, for example, there's a lot of issues that can arise from not keeping your hydraulic oil clean, hmm. more clean than maybe in other applications, um, because it can lead to things like silt lock, which is, you I've know, heard of that, yeah. yeah where, <laughs> where you get these particles that get trapped between the valve and the or the, the spool and the bore and all, all, it doesn't allow you to have operations function as easily, the erratic performance, it can mm. lock up all together. Oh, sure. Um, and that's a, that could be a, a big problem. But, you know, the, the contaminants in there also help address the life of the oil as well. So right. the, you're going to get the oil to last a lot longer, which means you have less needs for changing the oil. The, the mm. cost of an oil change is a lot more than you know, people realize. It's, just, it's, it's not, not just the oil itself, right? Exactly. It's not just the cost of paying for that new oil, it's the cost of paying someone to actually go and make the change of the oil, storing that oil, yeah. having the supplier send you the oil, you know. It, it can add up and be sure. easily 10 times as much as just the cost of the oil. Exactly. And that's just a, a typical oil. But regardless though, you know, you are overall seeing the cost of ownership of a product like this uh, being much more minimal uh, by extending the life of the oil, which impacts better operations, you know, less mm. issues with production, machine. Sure, if you're, if you're producing something and using hydraulic equipment and you're having silt lock or experiencing other problems, your production quality is going to suffer. Correct. So the benefits are, it kind of go on and on. And even just sure. the components in the hydraulic system, let's say the seals, are, are going to benefit from it. Yes, seal life is huge for yeah. hydraulics and expenses yeah. related to hydraulics. And yes, we've, we've seen many, many times that cleaner oil, especially Actually, highly, highly clean oil uh, is going to extend the life of those seals yeah. and make them perform much and you, better. And you can definitely you summarize that as a really good proactive solution. This, that's what this is. Right? Exactly. Addressing the contaminants, the smaller things are really hard to tackle. You do definitely have a proactive maintenance solution here. Exactly. And that's what we love about this because we're always preaching to be more proactive mm -hmm. about lubrication, to be more proactive about contamination. Because it works. Because it works and yeah. it saves money. It yeah. lowers costs. Uh, but it's it's often hard to accomplish because mm -hmm. you have to kind of take in so many different elements uh, and understand your whole program. This system and a partner like SKF Recon Oil can kind of come in, look at what your needs are, and help you identify how to get that how to get that going, how to okay. get that started. So, if somebody was interested in this, you know, what are some things they need to be talking to SKF Recon Oil about to make sure it's right for their application? or any concerns with the lubricant type? What are some things there? Sure, so knowing things like oil type, viscosity, um, additives, any of those basic requirements, you'll, you'll start the conversation with SKF Recon Oil probably talking about those mm -hmm. things. Uh, but they've seen you know, success in many different types of applications, especially hydraulics, neat oils, those are some recent ones. Um, yeah. But in general, it's, it's, mm -hmm. they come alongside you as a solution provider. They can work with you to look at your application, your needs, your oil types, and figure out how to integrate it with the system. So let's say somebody is interested in this, you know, how are they gonna get their hands on it? Yeah, so you'd reach out to SKF Recon Oil. They don't just sell this as a product, it is a part of a performance-based or fee-based contract. Oh, nice. So yeah, so you're you're looking at how is the oil performing. Uh, they come alongside you and kind of set up a solution. So it's not just them dropping off this product and leaving you to your own devices. They're coming in to partner with you and figure out, you know, how can we integrate this into your system in a way that's going to fit your goals, help you lower total cost of ownership and, and all those things we talked about. I like that a lot. You know, this is really exciting pro product here. It's very revolutionary. Um, Target's definitely something that we hit on a lot about oh, yeah. proactive maintenance, contamination. So it looks like they have something really good here to introduce. So for more information on this exciting product, go to recondoil.com or visit the link below.